Council Commission has a Bible study every week, um, and I, I was an attendee. Um, the Jim and Brad and others uh, lead the Bible study, so I was just a person that went every, tried to go every week. And let me just add this, this is a place where Democrats and Republicans can get in the same room and, and fellowship with one another. Um, back in a, uh, prior to our taking over in 2010, we had, the other side had passed some legislation that basically prohibited getting together because lobbyists typically the ones that pay for that kind of stuff. But Capital Commission Bible study is a chance for Democrats and Republicans to get in the same room and not be arguing. Well, the, the mission of Capital Commission, of course, is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ amongst legislators. And, uh, and it's also an opportunity for fellowship, as I mentioned earlier, uh, fellowship between the opposite parties. Uh, so I think that's their mission to spread the gospel and to uh, have a fellowship of believers. Well, discipleship uh, is, is a secondary mission, I think, or maybe a primary mission of, of Capital Commission so that um, Jim or whoever the leader is at Capital Commission can go into the legislative body, go into the individual legislator's, legislator's office and talk to them about the gospel of Jesus Christ and, uh, and, and help legislators grow in their faith. Well, I think financially, they, obviously, Capital Commission has to pay their staff. Uh, these, these people are devoted their lives to Capital Commission and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, and so uh, they have to have a living wage, and so obviously donors are appreciated to contribute to Capital Commission to provide wages for their employees. The appropriate answer is I, I love to do the will of the Lord, and that's, that's what motivates me. Uh, frankly, I wouldn't be able to get my day started if I didn't start off my knees and ask his guidance during the day. Uh, but somehow the world gets involved in my life and I get involved in a lot of other things like making money and stuff like that. But my goal should be to honor the Lord in what I do and to spread his word. I loved calling up the leadership of the other party and saying, put the cross and the Bible's back. And I knew I had capital commissions back and all the other believers back in the legislature and they were back within like 15 minutes. I think just the fellowship of believers in the legislature um, between the Capital Commission staff and, and Christian legislators is such a valuable resource to give each other encouragement and to uh, give support for legislation that we like or don't like. Or, so it's, it is a valuable resource. I'm telling you, as we didn't have Capital Commission in those Bible studies, there ain't no fellowship in the Senate floor, I can promise you that, between one party and the other. It's, we're at each other's throats. So having these Bible studies together is tremendous. Another thing I really like about Capital Commission is they really never ask for anything except your prayerful, uh, except your prayers. Uh, I was appropriations chair for four years, and I can tell you, and I used to have people lined up outside my office asking for money, and nobody in four years ever said, uh, Neil, we can get along with the same thing we had last year. They always wanted more. Capital Commission never came to us for anything except our prayerful support. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ.